As we've entered a new era of great power competition, we are now at another one of those inflection points in NATO's history. And I'm confident the alliance will be all the better and stronger for it. The current UCOM plan will reposition approximately 11,900 military personnel from Germany, from roughly 36,000 down to 24,000, in a manner that will strengthen NATO, enhance the deterrence of Russia, and meet the other principles I set forth. Of the 11,900, nearly 5,600 service members will, re will be repositioned within NATO countries, and approximately 6,400 will return to the United States. It'll, it'll take a, uh, several billion dollars, I'd say single digits, but that, that'll be spread out over time, obviously. But we need to refine that. That's where a lot of this work will come in, in terms of fine-tuning it. The combatant commanders know that we're doing these reviews. We gave specific guidance months before that to begin this process. And what the president did with his directive in early June was to accelerate that process.